Whenever you use several images together, you can use the gap tool to change the distance between them or the empty space between them. This is the tool here from the toolbar, which is called gap tool. Once you select it, you will see the interaction and the cursor, the change in the cursor, whenever you hover over empty parts between images. So for example here, if I click between the two uh, or four images and drag it up or down, you can see I can extend the empty space. What happens really is that we are changing the frames of these images. So if I drag it up, I make the frames here on the top smaller. If I move it down, I will change the frames at the bottom one. If I want to click between the two images, I can do the same there as well. So change the spacing here between the images. There are a couple of useful keyboard shortcuts. If you hold down command while doing the change, you will extend uh, the negative space or the space between the images in both directions equally. You can do that again here in the other direction as well. So that's command or control on PC. Shift will break the gap between uh, the images. So let me just again select the gap tool and hold down shift. Instead of moving both the frames up, this will only interact with this one on the right or I can do the same on the left. So with shift, you can break uh, the gaps and just uh, focus on the closest gap. Or there's another keyboard shortcut, holding down Alt will move all the surrounding images together on the canvas. If you combine Alt and Shift together, you will be able to move only the closer images together. So it's like grabbing the gap between the two and move them together. It works here as well. I can grab that gap between the two and move them together. So as you can see, there are many combinations of using the gap tool, but I still haven't showed you the best way of using the gap tool. And that is when you have auto fit and fill frame proportionally set to all of the frames. Now, if I start using the gap tool, it will be completely different because I will be able to change the frames and at the same time use the fill frame proportional auto fit option. That makes this feature really powerful. So it will help me to move around these images, but at the same time automatically resize them inside their frames. And there's one more keyboard shortcut combination which I haven't showed you, and that is Command Alt together or Control Alt on PC, which will move the selected images closer to each other, or it will reduce the gap between them. That is also a very useful shortcut because as you can see, now we managed to create an interesting composition moving the frames around. So far we only talked about working with images, but in InDesign it's very important to learn also how to combine images with text. In the following two tutorials you will see exactly how to do these.